guys, it's Christina here. Thank you for tuning back in into my channel. And so I'm really excited to share with you guys that um, I made a goal for myself this year for me to post more videos. And I posted a video on January 1st on Saturday, today's Monday, and I have like over uh, 790 views already, which I'm so thankful for. So thank you for tuning in. Um, today's video, I'm trying to make my videos quick, but easy and something that I can do quickly. So um, today is Monday, uh, January 3rd, and I just got out of work. So I'm here at home, I'm gonna just do this quick video, and I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys some things that I have for my luxury um, that are actually things I use every day. So I don't wanna just um, continue to show you guys things that I don't use. So I think it's very useful for me to get into like the everyday stuff. So I am gonna talk to you today about this, which is my Speedy 30. Um, and it's Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, and I've had this for a long time, and I love it. And I'll tell you about this keychain in just a minute. Um, so let's go ahead and just, I wanted to just get on here and tell you guys, like I watch a lot of videos around YouTube, on YouTube of um, Louis Vuitton and other luxury brands. And by no means am I like rich or have all this money. And I know there's a lot of influences out there that sometimes I, I love a lot of them, but sometimes they buy things and review them and then end up selling them really quick. Um, I got to be honest, sometimes I get bored of some of my items and I do sell them. But some of the things I have, I've had for a long time, like my Speedy 30. Um, but I want you guys to know that I know that luxury is like expensive and I know that it's going to take time for you to save um, for a luxury item. So if you can't pay for one right now, that's okay. Because for me, years ago, I couldn't pay for it. Um, but I do want you guys to know like how I'm able to like fund some of my items. So obviously I have a full-time job. I have a husband that has income as well. And then a couple years ago, I started my own photo booth business. So I have those kind of those um, things. So that's how I am able to sometimes go buy some of these luxury items. Another reason why I'm able to own, um, you know, so many luxury items is that I buy a lot of my stuff pre-loved, which is really truly used, but that's just the term that everybody uses is pre-loved. It just sounds better, but it's basically used items, but it's authentic used items. So I'm also going to um, just tell you guys that if you follow me on Instagram, I normally uh, post videos, well, not videos, but photos of my outfit of the day um, pretty much every day during the week on the weekends because I'm busy doing stuff. I, I don't post all the time. But if you want to see what I you know, wear each day, I wear things simple, nothing extravagant for work. But today um, I work um, in education. And so today we were able to wear jeans. Um, so one of the things that I wanted you guys to know is that today I just, the outfit that I had on today, you'll see these cups up here and I have another video on my cups, but my cups are part of my outfits. So, um, whatever I wear, I try to match it. So today I'm wearing this like brown, uh, shirt, which I love the color cause it matches my Louis Vuitton stuff. And then I have my cup today. This is from Taylor Made Bling. It's my beautiful Starbucks cup. This is actually my favorite cup. Uh, believe it or not. I know I'm a pink lover, but this is my favorite cup. And then it has Christina in the back and it's just something about this cup. Um, I dropped this cup though, so it's a little bit messed up. I am going to order a new one, but I got to use this one until it's like completely, completely broken. Um, so this is my cup for today, um, with my outfit and then my bag here, and I'm just wearing some jeans and some boots and you'll see that on Instagram if you go follow me there. So I want to make this as simple as possible. So today what I did is, uh, I want to show you what's in my bag, but I want to talk to you a little bit about the bag. So my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, it's a very popular bag. Um, there's also the bandolier, which has the strap. I don't have the strap for this one because I didn't want to go back and spend money on a strap. So for me, my bag, I like actually just holding it like this or on the crook of my arm and just kind of throwing it everywhere because believe me, I've thrown this everywhere and it doesn't have feet on it, um, but I don't care. Um, because I love the look of this bag. And honestly, I haven't really seen a whole lot of people. I mean, I see people with it, but not like crazy. 
um, but it's one of their most popular bags. So it's just odd that I don't see it as much anymore, but I'll never sell this one. This is like my bag that's just, this is my baby. Like I love this bag, but I also feel like it's a carefree bag, except obviously in the rain, you can't use it in the rain, but to me, it's a carefree bag where I literally, like I'm gonna do that right now. Like I literally just throw it everywhere and it's still in amazing condition. So I'll just show you, this is a front, this is a bottom and see how it's all like smushy. So a lot of people use um, a bag organizer and I do use a bag organizer in some of my bags, but I just like the, like the squishiness of this bag and I like how it just kind of hangs. So I don't use it. I, I've tried, but it, it makes it structured. And in my opinion, it just makes it look like bigger and fatter and I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I have in my bag today. Um, and then I wanted to show you that this here is from one of my other handbags. Um, and then I just uh, got it um, heat stamped with my initials uh, from Louis Vuitton. But then, oh my gosh. So um, if you guys are familiar with Louis Vuitton, you know that the um, this bag charm or key charm or whatever you want to call it, um, they're really expensive. They're like $600 on the Louis Vuitton website. And I've always wanted one. But believe me, I also think about like, you can't always spend all that money on, on, you know, luxury stuff. So I just don't see myself. I do have another keychain that I did spend like $300 on quite a few, um, like I think a year ago or two years ago. Um, but I just don't see me spending like $600 on this little thing, but I love the look. So I've never had it. I actually just bought this last month and it was like $11.99 and it looks amazing on here. It looks like I mean, it honestly looks like it's Louis Vuitton, but it's not. It's just like a replica kind of, it's 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 a replica, but it's um, it doesn't have like their logo or anything on it. But I think for the price, it was an amazing buy. So if you guys want to know, um, I'll put the link in my description below um, for you guys to see where I bought it. And um, you're welcome to click on there. And I, I don't... I mean, for me, Louis, for Louis Vuitton, that's just too much to pay for this little thing. Also, um, if you if you subscribe to my channel, I am truly, truly grateful for that. However, I'm only doing this for fun, and you know, a lot of people do this to make money, and like they have ads and stuff on their on their um, on their YouTube videos. And I mean, I don't really care about that stuff. To me. I just want to try to be informative of some of the luxury items. But one key thing for me is that I'm not this like fancy rich person. Um, so to me, I just feel like, in my opinion, my, my luxury stuff and the things that I use and my opinion on them are more authentic than in my opinion, other people that like do this for a living. I have a full-time job. I have um, you know, a, a side job. I'm a mom, I'm a grandmother, but this is something that I just love. And you'll see that my babies here, my cups are also another thing that you'll see all over my Instagram because they're part of my outfit. I have a cup with me every day, everywhere I go, and all my family knows that. And so, um, yeah, so these are all my babies up here. All right, so let me just go ahead and get started on what is in my bag today. So I have, first, let me show you this. This is my Coach um, little um, bag. So it's like a cosmetic bag. I could have bought like the Toiletry 15 um, from Louis Vuitton, but it was just too much. And the Toiletry 26, I turned that into a crossbody. So I feel like it's a logical thing to do. But like the, the 15, that it's just too much money. So this was $39 on the Coach Outlet uh, website. And I mean, it's beautiful. Like the canvas is thick. I like the C's and I love Coach because my first name is Christina and it starts with a C. So I like the C's here because I'm like, oh, it looks like my initials. So um, that I have some stuff in here and I'll just kind of quickly tell you what I have in here. So I have this perfume, uh, from Valentino in case I forget to 
spray perfume on or I just need a little refresh, you know, to smell good. I have this Valentino. I hardly use it. I actually used it today because I was in a hurry this morning and I completely forgot to put my perfume on and I never do that. So I was able to use it today. I also have a charger in here. So I have this charger and I'm going to put all this stuff back in there in just a minute. And then I have this little Louis Vuitton sample perfume and then I have some Advil in case I need it. And then I have like three lipsticks that I never use because um, I have others, but I have like a chapstick, a red lipstick and like a pinkish uh, one. I mean, I use them sometimes in here, but they're just extras that I always have in my bag. Um, so that's what I have in here um, in this little bag. And then I'm trying to put my stuff back because like I said, I'm trying to do these uh, videos where um, I'm using my time, but I'm not spending a whole lot of time setting it up. So this is like raw me right after work. You know, my makeup's been on all day, which is very simple. I don't wear eyeshadow during the day. Like if I'm going to go out to like a quince or like to a party or something, I'll put more makeup on. But for work, I usually do foundation, um, powder, lipstick, and be on my way. So this is like, that's what how I am every day. And on Instagram, I really hardly, only for fun, I use their filters. But normally for my outfit of the day, I just take a picture right from Instagram. It's, it's not that serious. So, all right. So then I have this coach bag, uh, this coach uh, little wallet that has just change in it. That's in my bag. And then, oh my gosh, I don't know the name of this wallet, but I absolutely love this wallet. I bought this wallet pre-love from Mimi's um, Treasures which is one of my all-time favorite places to buy pre-loved items. If you don't know about Mimi's Treasures, you have to go there. So I live in Houston, so it's like 45 minutes away from me, so I drive there. But I have to say that this is, um, it's a little wallet here, and I'm not gonna, I mean, you can't really see any of my cards, but um, these are my cards here and, and my money and stuff. But I love this. Like, I have so many other wallets but I haven't been able to put this down because I love it so much. It's so convenient, so quick. I just love that I just open it real quick. I haven't been able to put this thing down. I've been using it ever since I bought it and I haven't used any of my other wallets. So that's in my bag. And then um, this is in my bag, which is my sunglasses. My sunglasses, I actually put them down somewhere. I don't know where I put them, but this is my sunglass case. And let me tell you where I bought this. So I've always wanted a sunglass case, a real true, you know, Louis Vuitton sunglass, sunglass case. And I found this actually, believe it or not, on OfferUp. And the gentleman that was selling this, I said, oh my gosh, this, this is a good price. It's only 80 bucks. And these things, you know, are a couple hundred dollars. And so I said, I wonder, you know, if he'll take less. And so I messaged him and he didn't message me back. And I said, man, this is going to be a popular item. You know what? I'm just going to buy it because you have an option of buying it and getting shipped to you. So right after I bought it, the guy responded and he said, I have had over 30 or 40 people message me about this uh, sunglass case. And you're the only smart one that just said, you know what? And bought it. And so he's like, it's yours. I'm shipping it to you. So I thought that was really cool. And then the other thing I have in here is um, I have my um, L LV Agenda PM. So I have the GM, which is the bigger one. And then I have this PM. I used to have an e MM one, but I just never found any use for it. And it was just sitting there. So I sold it for like 500 and something dollars, which is what I paid for it. So I basically got my money right back. But I love this one. I'll never get rid of it. It's so cute. It's so little. And what I have in here is my passport. And then I have this little thing here. Just I made this myself. And then um, I just have some other little stuff in here. Um, my Kroger card. And then this is like if I want to put lunch money in there. And then I have some stickers, some old stickers um, from years ago. And that's it. So I keep this and there's a cute little pin on here. And I don't use this that much, but I, I take it with me sometimes. It shouldn't be in my bag right now, but it's in there. Um, the other thing I have is I was kind of hungry this afternoon, so I threw this in my bag, but then I never ate it, so it'll just stay in there. Um, and then I have my mask that I wore today. Um, and look, it wasn't matching or anything, but hey, I love pink. Pink is my favorite color, but it doesn't mean that I don't wear other colors because I love all colors. Um, and then I have my AirPods in here with my little pink case. And the last thing that I have is my 
um, key holder. And so my key holder, I, I always keep my key to my truck. Um, I'm actually going to pull it out of my pocket because it's in my pocket. I always keep my key in my pocket. So I already know the key should go in here, but I always keep it in my pocket. Let me tell you why. Years and years ago, I was robbed at gunpoint. And it was a long time ago um, when I, I didn't even have a luxury bag. Um, but I was robbed at gunpoint and I am so grateful that I happened to pull my keys out of my bag and hold the keys in my hand as I was walking, which was, I mean, it was a terrifying, um, you know, incident. And it, I was with my family, with my kids, and I wouldn't let go of my purse. Anyway, it's a long story. However, I'm so grateful that I took my keys out of my bag and had them in my hand because if I didn't, um, we were okay, nobody got hurt, and I let go of my bag and they stole my handbag and with everything in it, except for my key to my vehicle. So I was still able to drive off. So because of that, I've always kept my key in my pocket, no matter what. So it kind of defeats the purpose of this, but I still love this. So your key holder should hold your keys. So I have my key to my house and stuff on here. Um, which I do use and open my door with, but I don't have my car key on here, but you could put your car key on here and then you're good. So that's all I have in my bag. So I'm going to put all my stuff back and I'm just going to talk to you for just a minute. So this is the kind of videos that I'm going to be doing throughout the year. Um, and literally I just stuffed all my stuff back in here like in two seconds. And so here's all my stuff. What you noticed though, is that if you open my bag, there is no papers or anything just thrown in here i have to say i'm i'm a pretty much um organized person so i just don't like stuff just thrown in here so i mean it's thrown in here but th there's a place for it so like this has all my little catch-all stuff like my charger my my lipsticks everything you can't see it all it's all just in one thing and then my wallet um let me pull that out my wallet, it has receipts and stuff of things that I've bought, but they're all in here. And then at the end of the week, I take them out and I put up and then I file that file them. And then eventually at the end of the year, when I don't need them anymore, then I shred them. So I, I'm pretty much a, a very neat person. So when you go in my bag, there's just there's not like papers and wrappers and things like that in my bag. That's why I feel that like my handbags they stay pretty clean inside. So when I sell them, you know, whenever, cause I, I sell some of my bags, I don't sell all of them, but when I sell them, they are in very good condition. And so a lot of the bags that I bought new, I try not to sell because it's like, you know, you're not gonna get, sometimes you don't get as much as, you know, you um, paid for them. So um, yeah, so that's the review. I'm not gonna give you any measurements or anything of the Louis Vuitton um, Speedy 30 because you can easily go on the website, look it up, look at the measurements and look at the item number. And the item number has changed since I've got it because I've had, this is my first, um, one of my first handbags that I purchased. Um, so, and, and just so you know, the canvas is here and it's all the way one canvas. So that's why on one side it's, you know, regular. And then on the other side, it's upside down because it's all one canvas. Um, so like I said, I love this bag. I, I use it all the time, but that's the other thing. I always change out of my bag. So um, that's why they're still in such great condition. And this bag, I didn't pay nowhere near as much as it is today because the prices just have increased so much. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I just want you guys to know I'm just a regular person um, that loves luxury and I try to save for it and I have a regular full-time job and then I have my side job and um, it's just something that I love to collect and I hope that you guys enjoy sharing some of my stories and I am gonna do other videos of like my agenda and other things that I use 
and I also have another video of like of all my cups so if you're interested in that you know you can stay tuned for that and look on my channel and then um, like I said before if you guys want to uh, see something or want me to review something let me know um, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then also find me on Instagram um, on Instagram I'm Chris uh, AMLV addict um, and I, like I said, I post um, outfit of the days there and I'll go ahead and post my picture of what I wore today and what I posted this morning um, on Instagram so you can see it. But I hope you guys are having a great week. It's Monday. You got to get started on the week. I know I was on vacation and I'm just coming back from vacation. So today was really hard to go back to work, but I'm just grateful for my job and just thankful for it. And I talked to my boss today and we kind of talked about how we enjoyed our break. And I'm just grateful to be able to say I have a job. I mean, that a lot of people out there right now are losing their jobs or don't have a job. And I'm just blessed to say that I work really hard to try to, you know, stay and, and have a good job. And so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed your Monday today. And now I'm going to go cook dinner and um, make my daughter some food as well because she wasn't feeling good today. And that's it. So have a good week and I will see you next week. Cause like I said, I'm going to try to post at least one video a week. So let me know um, if you stay tuned for, um, if you watch the video on January 1st and now you're seeing this video, let me know what you think. If you like it, that you're seeing that I'm posting the videos or even after I post a few others. So um, I hope you guys stay safe and have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.